Welcome to Configuring Remote Logging for F5 Distributed Cloud Services. My name is Greg Coward, and over the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the Global Log Receiver Service and how easy it is to send telemetry data from the F5 Distributed Cloud Services platform to a variety of analytics and SIM vendors. To start off, let's review an existing configuration. For this demo, I currently have a running Global Log Receiver configuration that streams log events from my distributed cloud tenant to Splunk Enterprise. From the Distributed Cloud Console UI, I navigate to Shared Configuration. The actual configuration is under the Global Log Receiver section. Configuring a log receiver is actually quite straightforward. In the case of Splunk, I'm really only required to provide my Splunk Enterprise endpoint as well as a Splunk HEC token. From the Splunk UI, let's do a quick search of the data coming in. We'll focus in just the last five minutes. As we can see, telemetry data is arriving. The global log receiver delivers events in JSON format, ready to be parsed, visualized, and analyzed. To get a better understanding of the process, Let's go ahead and configure an additional log receiver from scratch. In this case, we'll configure a receiver for Datadog. I'll provide a name for the service. I have a few options with regards to events captured. I can select events associated with the current namespace, events from all namespaces within my XC tenant, or I can specify specific namespaces. For this demo, I'll select telemetry from all the namespaces within the tenant. There are several destination options, including a generic HTTP receiver currently available, with more to be released. I need to provide an appropriate Datadog site name, datadoghq.com in this case. I also need to provide an API key. For that, let's go over to my Datadog environment. From the organizational settings section, I can create a new API key. I'll provide a name for the API key and select Create Key, and I'll grab a copy of the key. I'll take that back over to the XC console, and for an added level of security, I'm going to store this blindfolded. Under the advanced options, I'll select GZIP compression, and I'll keep the defaults for the remaining options. Select save and exit, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Let's return back to the Datadog environment and review our log events. I'll navigate to the logging section and view the events as they arrive. After a minute or two, and if configured correctly, event data should start appearing. Taking a deeper dive into one of the records, we can see that once again, it arrives JSON formatted. Now that I've verified events are arriving, I can use a dashboard to visualize and analyze my events. The dashboard we're using for this demo provides an overview of access requests for applications hosted within my F5 Distributed Cloud Services tenant. Additionally, I have the ability to filter and drill down into specific events. For additional information on F5 Distributed Cloud Services platform and its service offerings, check out f5.com slash cloud. Once again, my name is Greg Coward. Thank you very much.